Hi guys, welcome to Beards Eye View, this is going to be my thought for the main trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Before we begin, don't forget to like and comment down below, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever I do videos. I do them every single week, so make sure you keep a lookout for them. Yeah, I'm really sorry again for not doing too much on my channel other than podcasting with my mate at the moment. Um, it's just it's a slow build back up to things, obviously with not many films and th stuff coming out this year. There's just not as a lot of content for me to really talk about. Um, it's just it's a motivation thing, trying to get building back up to making other videos as well. So, you know, just bear with me. I'm, I am getting there. This is the next step. So bit by bit, I'm hoping within the next couple of months I should be back to normal and putting more content out. So it's just, it's just, it's just slow, but I'm going to get there. So I apologise for anybody that watches it, you know, uh, constantly, but I'm, I'm getting there. Wonder Woman 1984, um, I think they've had two other trailers, I think it was like a teaser and then a proper one which I really really liked because uh, it had, uh, is it Blue Monday song or something over the top of it? That was like one of my favourite trailers ever, I think. It was such a great, well put together trailer. Uh, then we've got this one which I imagine is the third and final trailer. Um, I don't think it told us when it's coming out because again I can't be sure when they're going to be bringing it out given everything that's going on. Um, but you know, theatres and that are opening now, so maybe with social distancing it might be doable soon, I don't know. Um, and this trailer for me, uh, there were some good bits in it which I will get to, but I mean overall it was kind of, it was an alright trailer, but I definitely think the one previous to it was ten times better. And we do get another cool like kind of lightning shot with her, with the lasso and everything, which is really cool. So as I said before, I think like Zeus, her daddy's going to be, going to be helping things out there, which I'm all for the visual, it looks awesome. Uh, you see her in a gold suit again, that again all looks awesome. Um, I, we get a little bit more with Steve Trevor in this, uh, kind of slight more context about how he's come back. I, I, I assume it's to do with that rock thing we saw in the other trailers that that dude has, and it's a, like a wish kind of situation she kind of brings him back. Because I thought that maybe it might be like a vision and only she can see him, but the way he's kind of interacting, the way he see, it seems like he's fully aware that he's he's back in this universe but it's not the same universe he was in before and it's so I think he is a person and I think maybe she kind of wishes him back to life in a way so and essentially that probably goes on to how Cheetah gets what she wants to get throughout this film um, it's all to do with that rock and that dude and you know getting anything you want they push it through this trailer and the other ones as well um, so I'm interested um, I always like that fish out of water thing we have with her and Steve Trevor in the first film where she was the fish out of water and I like how in this one it's flipped reverse and he's the fish out of water I really like that even with the comical bit at the end of this trailer where they're kind of trying to change his clothes and his outfit and everything and uh, you know that whole the little comedy effect all really good. I know we got a quick shot of this in the last trailer, I think, but we got a more kind of a wide shot of this when she's spinning with the lasso in that hallway. Awesome shot. This looks so cool. Let's be honest, guys. The main point of this trailer was for Cheetah. This was to kind of Kristen Wiig's character getting a little bit more flavour from her character, what she's willing to do and what she's willing to possess, and she just she wants to be noticed by the looks of it. She wants to be an apex predator, as she said. So that kind of pushes into her becoming Cheetah. Uh, the outfit she's got before she mutates, like when she's taking on uh, uh, Diana. That looks quite cool with the leather jacket and everything, the boots and that. It's a quite a cool outfit, the dark eyelashes you can see. It's going to be really interesting to see Kristen Wiig as a villain, like as a comic book villain. I'm so intrigued with her, so I think she's a great actress and I really want to see what she can do with this role. It's definitely not a normal thing for her, so to see if she can nail this, I'm really intrigued. And of course you get a real good shot at full on, you know, proper cheater at the end of the trailer, going against Wonder Woman and... It, I mean, I don't know whether the CGI's finished or not, it was rock quite a quick shot because they're moving around quite quickly so you don't get a solid look at her, but it looks quite convincing to be honest, I quite like it, looks pretty cool, I can imagine it's something to do with that rock again, wishing stuff, and maybe she mutates, or maybe she takes something, I don't know, because she's so desperate to be noticed and have be this Apex Predator that she just goes too far with it, and that's what makes her into Cheetah, I don't know how they're going to work it, but from what I can see, looks pretty cool, very interested, I'm so pumped to see these two go at it and just kind of beat the shit out of each other. I'm really looking forward to that fight. Again, I'm looking forward to Christian Wiig and seeing how she does as a villain. I love Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. I think it's absolutely incredible. It's one of the best things in the DCU. As I said, guys, overall, uh, I enjoyed the trailer, but it wasn't amazing. It was like kind of your bog standard, but it was just there to kind of showcase Cheetah a little more, I think. Uh, the last trailer was better for me. Uh, but either way, still looking forward to this film. Um, it's going to be one of the very few films I'm seeing this year. It's going to be this, Black Widow, 
and that's probably going to be it to be honest. Uh, but I am looking forward to this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work with social distancing and when things are going to open up and how I'm going to be able to see it. Fingers crossed I'm going to be able to see it when it actually does release and I'm not going to have to wait but we'll see about it. Um, either way, looking forward to it. So that's what I thought of the brand new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to find me on social media, any of these, all links are in the description and I'll see you soon.